coffee, I'm inappropriate. I like hearing stories, I like the whole script. You're such a freaky girl, I love it. Now you need to go to puppy boarding school, huh? You need to go to puppy boarding school? You need to go to puppy boarding school, I think. Oh, big stretch arms, oh man. Her, I think I think her need to go to puppy boarding school. What, what are you doing? You're knocking my stuff down? Huh? Just where you're chilling at? Nala, what are you doing? Are you chilling right here? What are you, what's going on with you? Oh, goodbye. Nice seeing you. Because she dropped something. She's going down to investigate how she knocked my phone off the charger. Not only off the table, but off the charger as well. Um, puppy boarding school. So, this video is going to be about the questions I know that I'm going to receive about packaging physical items. So, somebody wants to buy some panties or socks off of you. Do you need them in person? I wouldn't recommend that, but for more seasoned, more experienced girls, that's up to you. Okay, baby hoes? No, don't do that. Um, because it's a lot of times, you gotta figure, a lot of times if uh, a guy doesn't have the money to pay for something else, he might think that this is an opening, a uh, door opening um, purchase because maybe you're like, oh yeah, for sure. I'll sell a pair of my dirty underwear for $45. For sure I will, which isn't a bad idea, except if it's done in person because then you're giving way more away than you realize for free. So don't do that, okay? Um, if you're experienced, like I said, you make that decision yourself. Um, so then, what's your options, right? You're gonna mail them to them. Don't worry, nobody's tripping on that. Unless you are gonna cover them in gunpowder and roll them in powdered sugar and fucking send them with a bottle of bleach, bro. Unless you're planning on doing all that, they don't give a fuck. They're not gonna ask you, so what's, what's in the package there? Um, if anybody does, you don't have to answer them. You can be like some, some clothes. I sold them on Poshmark. Who fucking cares? They're not going to press you about that unless you have illegal items in there, okay? So, I know, I, I me, personally, I know that when I first started selling items, I was super nervous about it. I was like, oh fuck, I've got to go into the post office and, and get the, like, the thing printed out and like have them ship it. And like, I sat in the car probably for five extra minutes before I walked in because I was like, what am I going to say? Like, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. I'm so nervous. Like, and then I went inside and I gave them this box and I'm like, hi, um, I want to ship these, uh, this box, um, to, this address right here, can you help me? And they're just like, yeah, um, here, let me see the box. I already had the box taped up and shit, right? And they were just like, they put it on scale, weighed it, printed out the fucking thing, told me what the total was, and off it went, okay? It's not, it's not as serious as you think it is. Furthermore, the address, the return address, is not going to be your address, come on. It's not going to be your real name, come on. You can either, I mean, because honestly, if the package gets misplaced, lost, um, sent back for some reason, it's just a pair of panties and you can take that loss. I know you can, you don't need them back that bad, okay? So what your return address is going to be, if they absolutely require one, look up, uh, and I don't think that they do because I've sent many packages off just with my screen name, written on the return address thing or none and nothing at all just the regular address it'll still get to go it'll still get to where it's going promise you that test my theory if i'm wrong let me know okay um if you absolutely must because it's there's something inside of you that tells you i have to follow every rule i need to write a return address Look up the address to the nearest fucking McDonald's or something funnier than that, just in case they look it up. Like, you know what I mean? And then put your screen name or a fake name or your grandpa's name or whatever the fuck. But don't put your name or your address. If you have a P.O. box, fine. Some people say that that's better. I don't necessarily think so. I think a fictitious address or no address is better than that. But that's just me. Um, and in lieu of going to the post office if you are that fucking just
petrified of walking into a post office and handing them a box and letting them ship it off like the employee that they are because you think that there's some secret service fucking panty agent or something. Well, in lieu of that, you can go ahead and A, print out shipping shit online if you're that fucking dedicated to this, your craft, your new craft, okay? And some people fucking are. This is their full-time business. Believe that. Some people are, okay? There are ways to print out shipping online, pay for it and ship and print it out. And then, then in that case, you would just slap that label right on that package and go down to the nearest blue box and put that bitch in there. Okay? Or whatever box that you chose. Okay? Um, USPS, for, as far as supplies, they, if you go on their website, they will provide you with priority shipping boxes for free. As many as you fucking want. Literally shipping envelopes all to the nine okay if i was going to take this seriously and and i have and i've also been i've also always sold on poshmark um mercari and stuff i go ahead on and go on amazon and buy me a fucking hundred pack of some poly mailers and you can get them as cute or as ugly as you want them to be grab some tissue paper while you're at it so you can wrap the item up and i mean because presentation is key i mean nine times out of ten that's going to make all the difference in the world from just receiving a fucking pair of soiled panties in a goddamn white envelope and you know what i mean it's the it's like the excitement picture like unboxing videos you know what i mean like just present yourself in a manner that's different from everybody else and that that looks like you cared because if somebody is going to pay you a hundred fucking dollars for your panties statistically statistically speaking you're very lucky you might not have that many of those and if you do statistically you're extremely fucking lucky so therefore show a little gratitude or appreciation or at least a little bit of self-worth or or self-interest you know um it's your brand at this point i've told you already you needed to make a fake name you needed to try that bitch on and you need to fucking walk around in it in a little while and hopefully you've done that now that's your brand just as companies do branding pay a lot of money for branding well guess what pay yourself for that branding you're your own branding start looking it up what all I mean because it might go somewhere you might love this industry and it might take off and you might and this is not something I want to put on your plate um, presumptively and have you being like oh, oh my god uh, what do I do there's so much information but I'm just telling you like later on down the road after you've made a whole bunch of sales and after you've sold a whole bunch of videos or whatever and you've decided this is what you want to do full-time just as a youtuber would decide you know i don't want to work anymore i want to focus on this full-time if you, you decide that about this industry then will come like the moment where i've had to worry about what fonts i want on my website um i've spent uh, countless hours on designing my website and picking color palettes where I match the Twitter header, where I match the fucking the profile picture, where I match the goddamn Instagram fucking picture and all of those bios and all of those color palettes and all of those patterns and all of those ad fucking things and the way I present myself online and, and my stories and my fucking, you know, and you build up this character and, and it becomes you, but not you. You, but not you. You don't have to be accountable for her mistakes, but you will defend her to the death, okay? Um, she is what feeds you, so you better be thankful for it. And, um, oh yeah, back to the subject. Wrap them, either put put items, always, no matter what they are, as long as they're like, okay, clothing items. Anyways, no matter what they are, really. Put them in Ziploc bags first, or if you have the luxury of having one of those, uh, vacuum sealer things those are very you know very very good for this business because then it's like oh sealed in the unfreshness okay all of it matters it all matters and you don't want to turn and burn people because that's not a lucrative business plan okay um those only get the one shot if you if you treat it like a business and you're like here here's my business card here's a little handwritten note i kissed it i put my perfume on it okay i included a couple pictures of myself whatever i put it in like nice tissue paper that cost me all of fucking three cents and i put it in my poly mailer that cost me all of fucking ten cents <laughs> you know what i mean and i wrote your name on it with my own two precious little fucking hands okay and there you go i cared so you know what they're gonna do they're gonna buy from you again because they're going to hold that in their special fetish-loving fucking underwear fucking sniffing hearts, okay? 
they're going to. But if you don't send the product or don't give a fuck and send some brand new underwear that you just bought from Walmart that you never wore a day in your life because you think you can get over on people, you're not going to get repeat business. There goes your career. Goodbye. Wave to it because it's gone. That's all I have to say about that.